get set to kick off. He would do so from right to left. As yeah, the sun starts to go down now, it'll help out the folks across the way. They're still uh, dealing with that. Inner Tri County League Tier 2 matchup. Mineral Ridge, McDonald, crowd is pumped. So are we. Here we go. Cross on the approach. And comes to record at the 15. Up the right hash, outside the numbers, and tripped down across the 30 to the 31-yard line. So pretty fair field position for the Blue Devils. They've been potent offensively. Yes, they have, man. I'll tell you what, that's a kid right there. I know he's one of our sponsors, Jason Record. That's his son, Jake, out there. Let me tell you something. Special kid. Watch for him all night as we're going. There's a lot of good athletes out here on both sides of the ball here on both teams. So They'll spot it down at the 30. They'll say that's where his knee touched down. The ball's on the right hash, and the Blue Devils will move from left to right. That'll be towards the new scoreboard. Tarquito under center. Power eye left. Fakes a handoff. going to throw on first down. First play of the game. Fires deep down the left side. And it's incomplete. And they're going to throw a flag at the 35-yard line of the Rams for interference. And it was Conley, the intended receiver, and the defender... Basically, a face-guarding penalty. The old face-guarding penalty is the defender never turned around to look at the ball and impeded his progress or his ability to, to make the catch. I think it was crushed, but uh, nonetheless, it will go on Middle Ridge. Yeah, that's it, man. It's the same rules as all, all the other leagues. Everything's the same way. You just got to turn around. If you don't turn around, they're going to throw the flag all day long. It's 15 yards, 15 quick ones. How about that play on the first play from scrimmage for the Blue Devils? On Give, it deep. Give it a shot. Hey, you and I are both all for that. Yep. <laughs> Especially in the situation where you pick up first down, man. Love it. That's the game's initial first down. It comes on a penalty. Zekovic into the game now. Splits out wide to left. They'll have double wing. Record the running back, if in motion. Tarquito at 45, hands it off to Record, and he wrecks past the second level and into Rams territory and dragged down just outside the 45 yard line. Boy, just nothing really, nothing crazy. Just jump up behind that center and guard and just uh, kick it up for nine yards, nine and a half yards. Devin Ritchie in the ball game defensively on that tackle, and he got help from Tate Rummel. They'll give him the 46 yard line. So it's a gain of nine. Second down and one. Connolly's will split out wide to the left now. If in motion, offset eye in the backfield. Across the record, his flags fly. As they sweep left, he's got the first down as he plows to the 42, but they That's may bring this back. back. Man, I think we had a little bit of a little bit of a lean forward when he went in motion. Legal shift. Blown off the tackle. But they will bring it back into McDonald territory at the 49. 55 seconds gone on this one. Game's opening drive, no score. Jim Evans, Todd Thorne, and Sean McCune. From Blue Devil Stadium here at McDonald. Here comes Conley out wide to the right. They'll have a wing to each side. On second down and six from the 49. Play action fake. Carquita to throw. Got him. Rifles it deep down the middle. Conley's open. Makes the catch to 15. And dragged down inside the five-yard line. All the way to the two. Seth Conley. From Carquito. Big hit. First and goal. Here's your athletes. You got the speed out there. So that's what McDonald did, man. They tested him deep twice so far and really went up over the top on him well. You know, you see him coming down and you think of a running team, man, but really they're putting things together with some athletes and getting downfield. And we'll mark it down at the three. Forty-nine yards. Cross on the tackle. First and goal. Hand it off. To record off the right side. He walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. <laughs> Nice job, man, kicking up underneath that. Uh, who was that? Jake Billick, Jake Lowry, and uh, Matthew Howard there. Jake record with his seventh rushing touchdown on the season. And the Blue Devils come out humming here in the game's opening drive.
Dave Abraca set to kick off or set to kick the extra point. Finally, he's the hole. Kick on the way. And he's got enough on it, and it's good. 10-28 to play. First quarter. When McDonald cashes in on the game's opening drive, they lead it on Mineral Ridge 7-0 here on the Sports Animal 1390 WNIL. Back at McDonald with Bracca on the approach and the kickoff for the Blue Devils. Line drive shot bounces at the 10, picked up by Burgoyne at the 6, comes to his right, across the 10, and smothered at the 14-yard line where the Rams will have it for the first time on offense. They average right around 12 points per game, led by junior quarterback Matt White with three touchdown passes. In the backfield, we'll see Mike McLean, a fullback. He's a freshman. And Nick Ferguson, their leading ground gainer, 185 yards to two scores. He's a senior at tailback. The wide receivers are Travis Rose and Sam Kuyaman. He's uh, pulling seven balls, 157 yards. Tight end is Austin Reese. Up front, Zane Rummel, Christian Herbert, Jake Snyder, Tom Pepe, and Micah Howitt. We'll set the McDonald defense as we move forward. Here's Mac White. First down from the 14. Eye backs. And it off to Ferks in the tailback. Off the left side, got to try and take it wide. Can't shake the defender. Drops at the 15. Nice try uh, getting to the outside, but Conley just came up and cleaned up, scraped the edge, and did what he had to do. Conley, one of the corners for the Blue Devils. Playing eight for six the game. Record on the other corner. <laughs> Safety star, Portalese and Zekovic. The linebackers, Colburn, Dimery, and Record. And we'll set the D-line for you right after this play. We have a flag down, huh? Is that a get back? So we'll set the D-line for the Blue Devils. We have Alex Dixon, Albert Yates, Jake Phillip, and Matt Howard. To get that warning already against yeah. the Blue Devils. They're, they're not, Coach Williams is hot. They're not there, happy huh? about that. No, not at all. All right, the Rams will again be moving from right to left away from the new scoreboard. Ball on the left hash. They have wide to each side on second down and nine. White under center. Takes the handoff, half roll to the right to throw. Under pressure, and he just gets the ball away. Up the right side, incomplete. Behind the receiver at the 21-yard line. And that was Austin. He was trying to get the ball to, and he was getting heavy heat from Matt Howard. Yeah, Matt so. Howard and Jake Miller, man, they were just motoring. <laughs> A couple of big boys out there just running as hard as they could. And it brings up third down at night. Seven nothing, McDonald with a lead. And as soon as we have the opportunity, we'll have our Toyota Volvo Jaguar scoring drive. A lot of new things around here, Jimmy. Yeah, I'll tell you All what. Kinds of stuff. Like it. Third down at night, Rams. Throwing seven nothing early first quarter. White under center. Wide slot to the right. Blitz off the edge by the Blue Devils. White back to throw in the pocket. Fires up the right hash, and it's incomplete. Almost pulled down up at the 29-yard line. A great attempt by Kuyaman, but a defender right there all over him, and I yeah. think that was record. Actually, 14, Tyler Svekovic. Okay. the opposite side. Nice job. Incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. And McDonald looks to get it back on offense. They went five plays, 70 yards in the game's opening drive. Record three yards out on the touchdown run. They had the extra point. They lead it 7 0. That's your Toyota Volvo Jaguar scoring drive of Warren. Here's the punt by White, and it's a short punt off the side of his foot, up the left sideline, and it sails out of bounds right around the 44 yard line of the Rams. So, Less than half a field for the Blue Devils, and if you're Coach Whitaker, that's not what you're looking for, Todd. No, exactly, man. You're trying to drive that thing and turn the field, but uh, unfortunately, a little bit, little bit short there on that punt. You know, we were talking about some 19 yard, 29 yeah. yard punt, man. We were talking about some athletes earlier. You know, one thing is uh, the Conley kids, Zach Conley, he was a, a, a state runner-up in the high jump. So, I mean, you got kids out here that can do it on both sides of the ball. And I know there's a couple couple strong athletes over there from Middle Ridge. First down from the 44. They run the jet to if Coming left to right. Gets it out wide. Negotiates to turn up the right sideline and knocked out of bounds right around the 31. They'll move the chains. Just another Gracie one, Cross on the tackle. 
big one division one uh, recruit he's got a lot of different schools looking at him he's really uh, really come on strong his junior senior year 13 on that game their third first down seven nothing blue devils from the rams 31 Connolly out wide to the left a wing on each side carquito under center he's got a throw Got him again. Back in the pocket. Fires deep down the left side. Man's on the corner. Oh, and in the end zone. Touchdown, McDonald's. Zach Conley. You know, Jimmy, that's just an easy pitch to catch when you're watching. They want you to get a receiver to get downfield and get behind his defenders like that. You know, that's that's an easy job for uh, Carquito there. Get the ball in the air like Con Conley. Go run underneath it. 31 yards out. Marquito, his third touchdown pass. Connolly's third touchdown reception. And they run a fake on the, the setup for the kick for the point after. And they snap it to one of the up backs, set up heavy to the left. And it's no good as he fumbled the ball on a high snap, but a flag is down. I think there was too many men on the field defensively. Now he's called a legal shift, so. Can't lie. Yep. All right, no point. We're at 9.09 to play in the first quarter. We'll take another 30-second break with our score. McDonald 13, Middle Ridge nothing. Here on the Baird Brothers Game of the Week on the Sports Animal 1390. Blue Devils cash in on the short punt. A great defensive stop on the Rams opening drive of the game. Two plays, 44 yards. Carquito to Connolly, 31 yards on the touchdown pass connection. They miss on the try for two. They lead it 13 to nothing. And here's where Rackett's kickoff. And it bounces down at the 15. And picked up by Creeman back at the 10. As he brings it up to the middle and swings it wide to the left and knocked down right around the 23-yard line. And again, that's another Toyota Volvo Jaguar Warren scoring drive. See a great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles at Toyota Volvo Jaguar Warren on Route 422. Jim Evans, Todd Thorne, and Sean McHugh will be getting down to Sean soon here for another Armstrong sideline update. Coach Kiffin down there in the corner. Got to get that hat back on. Here are the Rams, first down at their 24. Speaking of Armstrong, you'll be able to see a replay of tonight's game starting next Wednesday at 2 o'clock at Armstrong 20 and 100. And you get to see the newest edition of Loose Change, among other great shows. Loose Change. First half of the 24 Rams. Toss to Ferguson trying to sweep the right side. Won't be able to get it wide. Great lateral pursuit again by the Blue Devils. And they stuff it at the 24. Left side of the defense is all over it, led by record. Led by record over there. You got your athletes, you got your big boys over there. You got 240, 250. I've seen Matthew Howard in person, and let me tell you something. He's a lot bigger than 240, I think. He was in on the action. Most of them are, you know. <laughs> 830, first quarter, 13 nothing McDonald. Rams, second and 10 from the 24. They hand it off to Ferguson, off left tackle, has a little room, and squeezes up to around the 28, drop there. That's their best play from scrimmage. Sekovic on the tackle. And he got help from Dixon. So it'll be a gain of four for Ferguson. The senior, their leading ground gainer. Brings up a third down and six. Rams from there, 28. Trailing 13-0 in the first quarter. White under center, Ibex. Wide slot to the right. Blue Devils showing blitz off the edge. Here they come with it. And they just swing it out the right flat as White dumps the ball off Ferguson. And he doesn't have a chance at it as it's low and away. And it falls incomplete. And the punt team will come on again for the second time. You know, Jimmy, I really like what Coach Whitaker did there. He knew that blitz was coming. He set up a screen. It's just, you know, he gets the ball there. He's got room out on the right. Right flat. That's what I love, no doubt. love about watching some of these guys. Their staffs are so intelligent that really, they're ready to go. It's just a matter if their athletes can put it together and, and then make the plays. Mack White on the punt of fourth and six. Rush comes off the edge, and it's another short punt as he gets under it. And he's got a little English on it, and it bounces 
at the 49-yard line of the Ridge and will be touched down there. So here's McDonald again with the field tilting their way. Let's zoom down to the sideline to Sean for an Armstrong update. Jim, before kickoff, I was able, able to spend 10, 15 minutes with Coach Williams. And for those who don't know, along with being the head football coach, he has also recently been named the athletic director of the McDonald Sports Program. He said one of the most beneficial things about being the head football coach and the athletic director is he has to be at all the middle school freshmen and junior high games. Yep. So he has a direct hand in his program that's coming up. Here are the Blue Devils, first down they toss a sweep left to Demery as he takes it inside the 45 and drag down right around the 40. And it'll be real close to the first down, Sean. You know, and that was a point of conversation because so many people have talked about, you know, can can you do both? And for him, he said, you know, we don't have a volleyball program here, so it's really a great fit for a football coach to be able to be the athletic director because the only thing I have to worry about in football season is football. And, you know, uh, Coach Williams recently picking up his 100th career win a couple weeks ago. So Dan's uh, doing some great things here. Thanks, Sean. And again, all of Sean's sideline reports brought to you by Armstrong, One Wire, in infinite possibilities. Hey, Alexandra Eisenhardt is this week's selection as the Department of Corporation Scholar Athlete. She's a junior at Beaver Local where she competes in soccer and track while compiling a 4.155 GPA. I didn't know you could go over four point, but I guess you can now. Can't you? Uh, yeah, now they give it to that four and a half. Well, they used to do that for you. Here our interview with Alexandra during the halftime show. That was one tonight. Next year for four years, buddy. <laughs> Nightliner Brighter and Scream Print will customize just about anything with your logos or artwork. Stop by and see what they can do for you at 16 West Liberty Street, Girard, as we have a little extra time here. Middle Rich calling a timeout to regroup after the nine-yard gain by Dimery. It's second down and one. Blue Devils from the Rams' 40-yard line. They did 13 and nothing, and they've been able to do pretty much what they wanted to do here offensively. Out of the gun. Carquita with a snap, fires right left, one hand catch by him, and pulled down by Boyd, but it's a first down at the 36-yard line. Yeah, it's a great job, man. I'll tell you what, once again, you know, we'll, we'll talk about athletes all night long because they got some kids that can play the game and actually can play other games too, other sports. So uh, another another great play by Cameron Hill. Four yards on the pickup. Two weeks in a row, we've seen one-handed grab last week. <laughs> last week. White Larimer with a one-handed touchdown. Grab for Western Reserve. First down. Carquito throw on play action. He's going to fire deep down the left side again for Conley. And it's broken up in the last moment by Kuyman at the goal line. Incomplete. One thing is uh, that Carquito just couldn't get enough on that ball, man. He just he's had someone cut bearing down in his face and uh, definitely got it out there, though. Well, those safeties. Got to be thinking deep ball Boy, you ain't now for, for Middle Ridge, but then that opens up a lot, a lot of other things. Know, a lot of other things. That's the first people, incompletion for Carquito. Four people carrying the ball already. I mean, that's kind of a good setup there. Second and ten for the Blue Devils from the 36 of the Rams. They lead it 13 nothing. Motion from if. Record. Big hole off the right side. At the 20. Oh, the tackler. 10. 5. Pylon. And he's in. Touchdown. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. My man can play the game. Nice junior. Good body. Good footwork. Blasted through the hole to fuck 75. And he did exactly what he had to do, man. Got downfield and drove it in the end zone. Well, he's more than insurance for them. Oh, there's, no, <laughs> there's no doubt there, buddy. That's a proud papa and mama sitting right down here. That's for sure. 36 yards. Jake Brecker. Second touchdown of the game you made on the season. And here's the point after a kick that they'll execute this time. Rebecca with the boot, and he nails it good. We'll take another 30 second timeout. 6.37 to play in the first quarter, and it's all Blue Devils here. They have been plugged in. They lead it on Mineral Ridge 19 to nothing here on the Sports Animal 1390. I'll tell you what, I got to hire a stat guy here because we do. We, we just Tom. Tom in that blue house right there, right, 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 right there. down the street. That blue house. I'm doing gone, stats Tom. here, and they're kicking the extra point, and I think they get it. Man. And it's no good. Oh, we'll man. have another Toyota Volvo Jaguar, a Warren scoring drive coming up in just a moment. Short kick. Oh, and it 
return to the middle of the field, and the return guy flattened at the 26. And on the return, that was uh, Alex Kuyman. Boy, they got starch. Ah, there you go. I love it when you bring old starch back. <laughs> well, that was a starch there. there there's no doubt there. <laughs> Right here the Rams, they've had uh, two three and outs. And that's not working for Coach Whitaker. Now, you know, Coach First down from there, 26. White's going to throw. Play action fake in the pocket. Had time for a moment. Now breaks down. Now he's going to run it out wide right. And record chops him down right around the 28, maybe the 29-yard line. You know, Jimmy, the thing is, when, when you're a young quarterback, or you know, he's, a, he's a junior that's in a, a young program, I should yeah. say, you know, he doesn't see those reads or see that, uh, you know, the flat route was there quick, and there was a couple other uh, uh, secondary reads that were there, but he ended up taking off run and picking up a, you know, a three-yard chunk, four-yard chunk. But, uh, man, it's like if you could let that patient sit in a little bit longer, he can really get something off. Well, I'll tell you what, though, you don't get much time against this front four. No, absolutely man, they come not. with it. They'll give him three yards, second down and seven for the 29. High backs, Ferguson gets the handoff, a gap left side, and he gets the 30, and that's it. Goes down under a pile. Yeah. Middle of the Blue Devils defense, shutting it down. Aubrey Gates right there, man. Another state finalist in uh, discus. Good kid. Big old Albert Gates, 6'2", 280. He's not lying. He's 280. And Dimery there as well. <laughs> Senior linebacker helping out on the tackle after the gain of a yard to the 30. And it brings up third down and six, 13, 19 to nothing. McDonald on top, white back to throw. He's going to fire deep down the left side, and it slips out of his hand, and it falls and wobbles. Incomplete short at the 45-yard line of the Blue Devils. Kuyman was the intended receiver, and the punt team will come on again for the Rams. And again, I'm not sure if that slipped out of his hand or if somebody tipped it, but yeah, definitely, definitely, no walking. chance for anyone. Good coverage by Connolly. Short. And here's White to punt again on fourth and six from the 30, trailing 19 to nothing. End over end, short kick again at the right side. This time it bounces into McDonald territory, but not too far. It's touchdown at the 46 yard line. And again, the Blue Devils with great field position. The new cut halftime scoreboard, one of our Friday night broadcasts. We'll have a whole bunch of stuff for you here tonight. New cut sales and service has equipment for all seasons. Route 224 in Borman, Route 422 in Warren. And don't forget to check out the Stadium GM Superstore High School Sports webpage. SportsAnimal1390.com. Click on sports. That's all you have to do. Jim Evans, Todd Thorne, and Sean McCune from McDonald. Blue Devils all over it here so far. 19 0, 5 0 3 to play. A lot of time left. In the first quarter. Carquito under center. Record in motion for left to right. And they run a counter from right to left. But if nothing off tackle, and he bounces it out wide and slides out of bounds into Mineral Ridge territory and into the Rams bench right around. He's safe at the 47. Now they're going to say uh, back, back him up a little bit. at the 49, huh? I'm looking at the wrong official, as I normally do. Officially? <laughs> now nah, there was actually two guys over there. Their coaching shirt's actually kind of getting away, too. Five on that shoes. game. McCoy was out in the area on that last play defensively. Carquito's got a throw on second down and five. Rolling to his right, under pressure, fires right sideline, and it's caught, but did he get it inbounds? No. Nice, he was out of bounds. Nice grab right. by a record. We're going there in coverage, but he was off the ball at the 35-yard line. And, man, Carquito had some gas on that throw on the run. Well, he did, too, man. We've talked about that many times this year, how these high school quarterbacks, when they get on the run, their arms are a lot, lot weaker, not as strong. And I'll tell you what, he definitely got off and got a good throw. Well, obviously, your right hand or your roll to your right, you, you're able to get a lot more into the throw than if you were heading the other way, throwing across your body. Third down and five from the 49 of the Rams. Carquito under center. They'll hand it off to record. Plows off right guard. Hits the 45 and hit down there. They'll come up short by about a yard. And 
There's Austin Reese on the tackle. And he got help from Zane Rumble. Fourth down, no Fourth down at a yard. They get to the line quickly, and Carquito takes the snap and tries to push forward, and I don't know if he got it, Todd. They're going to mark it down to 45. And yeah, it looks like the ball came loose, too, at the same point in time. Yep. It looks like the Rams' defense is held, and Jake Snyder, senior defensive tackle, getting up from underneath the pile. There to stone him. Boy, that's the first thing the Blue Devils haven't been able to do. And the Rams' defense, give them credit for the big stop on fourth down. They came to the line quick with a quick snap, Todd, tried to catch them on their heels, but the Rams were ready for it. They were ready for it that time. Then. Got it Great done. Job. So they have a little more breathing room here to do something offensively, which they've not been able to do on three consecutive three and outs. From their 45-yard line, trailing 19 to nothing. 4-16 first quarter. White under center, split backs. They'll pop and try and sweep the left side and do so with Burgoyne, and he hits the 50 and gets just across the mid-strike. Record on the tackle. But they'll take that anytime here on Absolutely. first down that's, that's a great play and really just uh he, he was able to get a head head of steam going that time and get his get his feet moving forward to the outside nice job boy you, you don't see flat backs that much no unless no, you're you running don't. the uh with the wing tee and they don't we'll give him six on the carry second down and four just across the 50. they're gonna run the same play Quick toss for going off the left edge and he threads his way to the 45 yard line he's real close to the first down he waits on the tackle and he got a little help from Colbert. Todd? No, it's just a nice job, you know, getting to the outside, seeing something in the defense. They can get there quick, get a quick pitch out, and, you know, once again, get some first downs, get downfield, get your offense going, try and put it in the end zone here, and uh, keep this game, like, right where it's at for uh, Middle Ridge. They get the first down, their initial first down of the game. At 3.20 to play in the first quarter. From the 45 of the Blue Devils, moving right to left. White fakes the handoff, rolls his right to throw, fires right side, incomplete. Overthrown at the 35. I think that was for Gorn, the intended receiver. Second mission was right there in coverage. Clock stops, 3.06 to play, first quarter. And we're seeing why McDonald is unbeaten on the season here, Todd. Yeah, they do a lot of nice things, man. Defensively, they get around. Now they're changing some guys on the defensive line, you know, getting some other guys in the game. So it's just a, it's just a matter of uh, pride. You know, going into the season, just, just learning learning one another, knowing who one another are. Second down and 10 for the 45. High back, slot to the left. White back to throw. Sets, fires, left side like Cross makes the catch inside the 30 and tackles down near the 22-yard line. Great throw and catch. Conley made a break on the ball, but absolutely, it just, just completely went in front of him and, and gave him a plenty of room to get up that sideline and make that catch. Bonnelly's on the tackle. They'll give him the 22. It's a gain of 18 yards. And their first pass completion. Their second first down, trailing 19 to nothing. And we have movement up front on both sides. Flags fly in. And who jumped first? Illegal procedure will be the call against, or will it? Yeah, they're moving the ball, but no, no call was made yet. That's the Rams. Rick Walton out there in his crew. Rick's been around a long time out here in Trumbull County. Good guy, good official. Yes, sir. We're fortunate in that regard. Great coaches and uh, a lot of great officials. officials. I mean, man, yes. it's like it, it's like every week we get a crew that really, they do a nice job. They don't throw penalties unless they have to. Well, that'll push it back to the 27-yard line. First 
time, though, in McDonald territory. First to 15 Rams. High backs. They're going to run a reverse. They're going to run it left to right, and it will break down, and that's Tate Rummel trying to go around the corner off the right side as they toss it to the tailback, Ferguson. But McDonald, everybody at home, and they make the stop for another loss. Good, nice job. Number 63 making the tackle. I don't have him on the roster, but we'll see if we can find it uh, uh, here. But 6-3 made that tackle. I watched him in the play, uh, game a couple minutes ago, so I'll check it out and see what we can find. That's uh, Jake Lowry. Jake Lowry, there we go. Now they look at second and 21. White back to throw from the 33. Fires deep down the left sideline, and it's overthrown. Because Conley had the, the closest play on it, made a diving attempt for the interception inside the 10. Cross was the intended receiver, but I don't know if he broke off his route or he had stumbled on the way down. And it's a good thing for Minnow Ridge that White overthrew the ball. Incomplete, and it brings up third down at 21. 19 nothing. McDonald with the lead. Now, why didn't we call Tom to come over here tonight? I don't know. I didn't even think about it. Digits is down there, you know. That blue house right there. Yeah. That's his house, man. Come on, Tommy. Figured you could be here by half. I miss him. You could be here by half. Did you, you know, just even have him come up in the booth. Shoot, he could be here by the end of the quarter. Yes, he could. <laughs> All right, the run out of the gun. White with the back to his right, and they blow it dead before the snap comes off. Delay game. Yep. So the Rams offense self-destructing right now. Leader procedure, that a big loss on a reverse attempt. Incomplete pass, and now a delay of game. Not the stuff you want to be doing, trailing 19 nothing. No, definitely not, man. You definitely you gotta be disciplined in what's happening. Trips to the left, a split to the right. On third down and 26, white to throw. Sets. Pumps it deep down the middle, overthrown, double coverage. Cross the intended receiver, just run on the post route. Inside the 15-yard line. Finally, was down there. He was the guy on top. Yep. And it was the guy underneath. Now they're in that tweener territory here, Todd. So, trailing 19 to nothing, even though we're in the first quarter at 119 to play. Coach Whitaker wants to dial up another play from scrimmage. Yeah, or, or you look at his depth. Yeah, could, could he he might be kicking here. We'll see. Fourth and 26 from the 38 now. White does the punting with the snap. No, he's looking to throw. Fires down the right hash, and it's batted away by Connolly's at the 10-yard line. Still in Port of East doing a heck of a job tonight, man. And we have a flag down. Holding on the offense. Holding against the rain. Is it going against the offense? Is that what they're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, they just declined it. They declined it, so it's uh, McDonald's ball. And I stand corrected. It is, uh, I apologize, it is Portalese. I can't read my own writing. Can you? I can't. Well, <laughs> I sent it out to the translator before before I get here to make sure I know what you said. Yeah. Well, they declined the penalty on the offense, so it's first down, McDonald, Blue Devils from the 38. And they're trying to run record off left tackle, and he'll get a couple of the 40. Right side of the Rams defense, getting it done as we roll down to a minute to play here in the first quarter. Zane Rummel with his nose in there again. Two on the game for Jake Record. Two rushing touchdowns tonight for the Blue Devils, leading 19-0. So they look at a second and eight. Zekovic comes out wide to the right, a wing off the right side. They'll hand it off the record, sweep to the right side, off the edge, has the 50. 40 of Middle Ridge, downshifts, and then is shoved out of bounds all the way down to the 35-yard line. Just unbelievable, man. Cross runs him out along with Tate Rummel. 25 yards on the run. And their fifth first down. And he 
he's going to be pushing for 100 here pretty quick. And Jake the record. How's it go? One of the longest first halves in a while. 26 seconds. First quarter. Clock stops on the out-of-bounds play. 35-yard line of the Rams. And the Blue Devils offense humming again. Carquito under center. Split backs. Hands it off to Dimery off left tackle. And that door is closed, and then he slides off the left edge and gets pounded. Goes down around the 33. The Ferguson or Borgia for going. A nice little cleanup hit over there. And the clock winds down. That's going to do it for our first quarter, which has been dominated by the Blue Devils. As we head to the second, from McDonald's. Blue Devils field, it's McDonald 19, Middle Ridge nothing. Here on the Bad Brothers Game of the Week on the Sports Animal 1390. McDonald, the Blue Devils, and Middle Ridge squaring off tonight. And the oldest active running rivalry in Trumbull County. 19 nothing. all Blue Devils here tonight as we open up the second quarter. And they have it now second and seven from the 33 of the Rams. If in motion left to right. Carquito play action face gonna throw. Fires right flat and it is caught and the receiver goes down after making the grab. Losing his balance right around the 20. And that's record on the grab. Yeah, we talk, they will give him the 20. We talk about this week in, week out. And you get to these places that have these great, beautiful new uniforms. You know, these uniforms are so awesome that this McDonald team has. And the same thing in Middle Ridge. But you can't see their numbers. <laughs> as, as radio and television beat, you just cannot see the numbers. It's crazy. Our second quarter being brought to you apart by Bear Brothers Fine Hardwoods Traditional Craftsmanship Timeless Style. Boy, the Blue Devils showing a lot of style here tonight with a 19-0 lead. Early on. Mixes second around. quarter. Carquito out of the gun and back to his right with a snap looking right. Now he's going to look left. Now he's going to pump it deep in the left corner of the end zone. Way over throwing yeah. a tenner for record. Came in there, coverage in the left corner. Nobody had a chance on that one. Nah, he'd have dropped that one in there on a dime if he could have. Ben Carquito, junior quarterback. 6'2", 185. Got a strong arm. He can throw the deep ball. Hey, can We've seen that. And the intermediate. Clock stops. 11.22 to play here in the first half. You know, he Zekovic comes out wide to the left. If on the wing to the left. Split backs. Cross to record. Off the left edge. 10-5, half touchdown, Blue Devils. That's Colburn there, Jimmy, number five. Well, that's Dimery, man. Or Dimery, I'm sorry. That's Dimery. The wrong guy, got the number, though, it was Dimery. Caleb Dimery. Apologize, but man, couldn't see. Just he kicked it, kicked it in high gear there uh, and just uh, drove it right in the end zone. Nice job. Five looked like the nine. Yeah, it did. I'm going to watch the extra point kick this time instead of doing stats, and it's good. <laughs> oh, there you go. 11-15 to play in the first half, and it now reads McDonald 26, Middle Ridge nothing. Here on the Sports Animal 1390, WNI. All over it here on Mineral Ridge, 26 to nothing as Blue Devils kick off. We're going on the return up across the 30 to the 32-yard line. It's time for another Toyota Volvo Jaguar scoring drive for the Blue Devils. We're going to make quick work of it. One, two, three, four, five plays. And they maneuver 58 yards. 
And it was Caleb Dimery on the touchdown run from 20. And they had the point, and they lead it 26 to nothing. And here the Rams back on offense, and they pound it off the left side with Ferguson. Hits the 35 and goes down close to the 36. Gift on the tackle, along with Dimery, among others, for the Blue Devils. And again, that's our Toyota Volvo Jaguar of Warren scoring drive. Get information about vehicle inventory, financing, service specials, and more online at toyotaofwarren.com. Three on that game for Ferguson. Second out of seven. Right back to throw. Fires right flat. Incomplete. Up at the 38. And I believe that was Reese, the intended receiver, and it was. Yep. Jimmy was there and covered the long record. Jimmy, one thing we talk about every time we come into McDonald's, I know they got some capital improvement plans in the future and a lot of other things going on, but the light share, it's just a tough place <laughs> to see it. Tell me about punt it. the ball, man, and, and the, ball's, the ball's above the lights when they punt it. You can't see where it's at. We always talk about it. You know, that's one thing about this place. They are definitely looking to improve on that. Foot candles, man, foot candles. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> It's third and seven. Rams from their 35. High backs. Wide slot to the right. Here comes the blitz. White back to throw. Lobs out right flat. Ferguson has it. Has it out to the numbers and is dragged down by the jersey and flags fly. And they might call that horse call. I think he had the jersey. I don't know. He definitely had the jersey, but up to the 38-yard line. Uh, they're calling a horse caller. I think they are. Yep. Did you see it that way? Yeah. I, you're, you see, you what? had the clear window. I'm yeah, looking through this window here. Through dirty windows and stuff. <laughs> now, you know what? It, it is. If it's to the T to the of the rule, I mean, he got up high on the jersey. He was going okay. for it. And, you know, they, they, they're they going to throw that flag every time, and I, I don't have an issue with it. I have an issue with the rule, but I don't have an issue with them interpreting it. And they will step it off into McDonald territory and spot it at the 48-yard line. 26-0 Blue Devils. Rams. See if they can take advantage of the opportunity after the penalty. Split backs, wide under center. Wing to the left. They'll toss sweep right the short side and the game goes to the 45. Freeman on the tackle, or on the run. Record and Colbert on the tackle. I'll tell you what, I like the way Jake Lowry plays too, man. For a little fire plug out there at about a, a 170 pounds, he does a nice job getting side to side and moving fast. Three on the game. Second down and seven. Whistles low before the snap, and Middle Ridge will call a timeout. Yeah. Let's get back down to the sideline to Coach Sean for another Armstrong update. Jim, Todd had mentioned earlier in the pregame show some of the athletes that McDonald had on, on their football team. And, you know, when we talk about football, we always talk about size in terms of weight. Being down here on the side sidelines, one thing I really noticed about the McDonald team is all the size they have in terms of height. They have a lot of really tall athletes on the football field. I'm sitting here and I'm standing next to a couple of wide receivers, and, and I'm 6'1", looking up at these guys. That really creates a tough matchup for a 5'6", 5'7", cornerback that's guarding them. And you've been Seen that, seen that time and time again. The re receivers have been able to break free, see the ball over top of the cornerback, and make a play. But you know, I was really impressed with the height of the, the McDonald team. And you don't see it too many teams that have that type of height at the running back, receiver, and quarterback position at the high school level. They're lean, aren't they? Very. And long. They got length. State of Highway Patrol. The basketball stuff, huh? State. <laughs> Listen to that's, him, that's the guys over on the other part of the state. Yeah, the back so. conference out there on the West Coast. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Another Armstrong update. They try and run the toss, sweep to the left side, and the pitch bounces off the running back, and it's recovered at the 50-yard line. McDonald ball. Just said it. Jake Lowry had some hustle in him, got right to it, and got on the ball, man. Picked up every recovery. Tonight's game brought to you part by Pizza, Lafarge Construction Materials, Pharmacy Care, Quaker Steak and Loop, the Area Agency on Aging, Lane Funeral Homes, and Steel and Alloy Specialists. 26 0 McDonald. And they come up with the game's first takeaway. You may know we're in like week four here, but at the same point in time, I've been, I practiced that Pizza Hut 
feel all off season. I'm sure you did. I, maybe we can sneak that in somehow. Man, it just felt so right. But. Bunch formation split out to the right, short, wide to the left, and Carquita's going to fire deep down the middle for Conley. And then he's going to make the catch at the 10 yard line. Defender just got a hand in at the last moment and probably distracted him. Had a chance at it. Incomplete, second down. Boy, and they've stretched it at least four times to him. They are throwing deep, dialing deep here tonight. We have a holding call against McDonald, so it would have mattered if he made the catch. Local State Farm agents sponsor this season's high school football team of the week award. Brought to you by State Farm agents, including Jason Record in Cantor. And this boy. young man doing a fantastic job here so far tonight for the Blue Devils. Well, I'll tell you what, Jacob and his cousin Matthew Howard out there, they, I'll tell you what, there's some good kids out here that, uh, big old State Farm guys, they're like good neighbors. Good one. <laughs> good one. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. There's your thinking cap over there. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Man. You know, we talked about some of these games that get stretched out, you got to think yeah, more than you know. <laughs> The way it goes. But uh, right down here, uh, Abby Records sitting down here, Jason's daughter. She's headed off to the Peace Corps in two weeks, man. Really? She's headed overseas. Well, good luck for just, her. Yeah, absolutely. Her. What a great girl. Hot foul back to the 33-yard line, and they'll run if from the wide left. Shakes the defender near midfield, and then is run out of bounds as they angle him out right around the 40-yard line. You say, well, what play do you run on first to 27? That one. That one. Yeah, exactly. That first down play. And did he get enough for the first? He might have gotten just enough. 27-yard run. Yeah, I know that Kent's looking at him. A couple of their max schools look at him. Cameron Ives can play the game. He's a football player. And at six, they got him listed at 6'4", 240, or yeah. 220, 240. He is, he's solid. Man, he's a rock out there. And are we going to have a measurement? We're going to talk with Coach Williams right now. He has the chains to come out of the field. Don't forget the Duke on halftime scoreboard. Sean will have all the most of uh, the scores in our area tonight. That's in our halftime report. Duke got sales and service route 224 in Boardman, route 422 in Warren. Stretch to chain, and he's just short. Couple inches. Jim Evans, Todd Thorne, and Sean McCune, 26 to nothing. McDonald with the lead on Mineral Ridge. Teams in Tier 2 of the Inter-Tri-County League. McDonald, along with West Reserve at Sebring, unbeaten. Sebring. Sebring. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's Trojans. a long time, long time for us to say that. Yeah. And it's kind of odd, too, how these tiers are, are bouncing around, too, because, you know, you got Jackson Milton, the upper Jackson tier. Jackson Milton uh, bringing, off to a perfect start. 3-0 up there yep. in the upper tier, and then you bring, you know, uh, Middle Ridge down to the lower tier this year. It's just kind of kind of weird, but they do. They're going to bounce around and try and keep it as, lay, uh, as even playing field as possible. Is playing in Division 7 this year. Yep. And McDonald, D6. Second and inches. Toss the record. Sweep to the right side. Has the first down, takes it wide, and is tripped down right around the 32, maybe the 31 yard line. Conley out going on the tackle. Yeah, Conley out there making a heck of a block and lead block. And what are they getting? The 32? Pick of eight. And unofficially, record up to 88 yards rushing. 337 coming in. You take care of that in one play, huh, Jim? Yep. Clock rolling, 840, first half. 26 nothing Blue Devils. Comer now, wide and left. Wing to each side. Hipped in motion. Counter. Record on the far side has the 20. Steps inside the defender at the five and into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Jake Record. Maybe that's why he'll go to Oh, man. What a move at the end there, too. He, uh, he made a little juke down there and uh, made the defensive player miss a little bit. He's got the hat trick. 
as they like to say, three touchdowns on the game. Bracca for the extra point kick. On the way. Low line drive shot, but he gets it through good. We'll take a 30 second timeout. 8.21 to play in the first half, and it now reads McDonald 33, Mineral Ridge nothing here on the Baird Brothers Game of the Week on the Sports Animal 1390. Play 50 yards, Jake record, 32-yard touchdown dance. They had the extra point kick, record's third touchdown of the game. It gives them nine on the season. Point after 33 nothing. Here's the ensuing kickoff. And Burgoyne trying to go wide to the right, nowhere to maneuver as he is angled down and tackled around the 16. I know we've seen some, some great teams in this lower tier and some teams that we've already, you know, kind of caught this year. And I'll tell you what, McDonald's right up there speed-wise, man. I think they can hang with anybody out there. I know well, we're going to see them over at Western Reserve. What a matchup that's going to be. Just setting it up again, huh? We get another circle of calendar. This is awesome. What, what kind of year are we have? This, this is beautiful. Right here, the Rams. You know, they just want to get something going here, something positive, trailing 33 nothing. I backs. Ferguson with the handoff, tailback off, right tackle, hits the 20 and hit down. Big Matthew Howard there on the outside. Four on that game for Ferguson. And they have really not been able to generate anything on offense, although they had some momentum there. On their two previous uh, possessions prior to this, Two possessions prior, as they got down near the 20-yard line, but uh, that drive imploded. And they're trailing 33 to nothing. Second down and six from the 20. White back to throw. Pump fake to the left. No one's open. Now he's running, and now he's wrapped up, and now he's dumped for a loss. Back near the 10. Jacob Lowry again. Great coverage downfield. That's a cover sack, Todd. Oh, no doubt about it. They got those athletes out there just blanking in the field, playing that uh, cover two, just uh, which is just basically having four guys in zones back there just covering the field. Nice job. Lowry, 5'10", 170-pound senior. Of course, Whitaker talked about their D-line, how quick they are. Yeah, definitely. He wasn't kidding. They lose eight on that sack. Now the Rams look at third down. And 12 from their 14. White under center, back to throw. Swing pass right flat. Caught by Ferguson, and he gets it up to the 18-yard line. That's it. Gift all over him, along with record. Sekovic. Gimry there as well. Yep. And they'll pick up four up to the 14. I know Matt White's one heck of a baseball player, too, man. He's, he's an athlete out there, and you got your best one at the uh, quarterback. Up to the 18-yard line. Kind of brings up fourth down and eight. Here's White to punt. One step, and he gets his best kick away, and it's fair caught by record at the 48-yard line, the Rams. So the Blue Devils, they've been the beneficiary of great field position for pretty much the entire game, and they have taken advantage, leading 33 to nothing, with 6.01 to play here in the first half. And again, now we're looking at the, the new rule that uh, we talked about in our pregame show. Of course, that wouldn't take effect until the so, second half. Right, until the second half. And if, in fact, that remains does. as is. When it does, we're ready. I got my, my public address announcement ready to go. From the 48. They run the jet with it. Come a wide left. Outside the numbers and tripped up inside. 45, the Rams goes down right around the 42. And on the tackle, Ferguson was there. Zach Rowan now in the ball game. Also helping out on defense for the Rams. But it's a gain of six for Ift. Second down and four for the Blue Devils. Just, they're just taking chunks right now. Power 
inside strong left in the backfield. And they hand it off the record. Agap right side threads his way to 40. That's it. Drag down there. Ferguson's there again. And he got help from Andrew Garris. Snyder was there in the action as well. Third and two for the Blue Devils from the Rams 40. Beating 33 nothing. Get the motion. They give him the handoff. Off the left edge, turns the corner and drag down right around the 38, real close to the first down. Did he get it? Field, so I'm sure they did. There you go. Ferguson on the tackle, and he got help from Derek Cole. And that would be first down number eight unofficially for the Blue Devils. They have been near flawless offensively here tonight, as the score would indicate, pretty much. So is their defense. <laughs> We're talking about the offense, but man. From the 38-yard line, Motion from right to left. Flash fake. Carquita to throw. Hums a fastball over the middle. Ah, Porter leads on the ground. After the 25, picks it up wide right. 10, 5, stretches to the pylon. And the rule out of bounds. Just outside the goal line. Did a nice job stretch, but I think it's peaked that out a little bit early. Dylan Portley's heck of a play, too. Defender coming in on him fast and actually just uh, made a whip at the ball and did a great job uh, concentrating on it, bringing it in. 39-yard game. And again, Carquito with the smoke on that one. Can you tell he's a pitcher also? Boy. <laughs> that was a four-seamer there. There was some heat there, brother. Four minutes to play. First half, 33 nothing. Blue Devils with the lead, pounding on the door for more. And they hand it off to If, off the left edge. And he stretches him in the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Cameron If. Strength and power right there, man. Gave it to him, let him do what he does best, and that's trying to find No it. buts or ifs about it. Or ifs. I like that. I like that. Here, yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I'm trying to keep up with you. You're quick, man. You're quick. I'm trying to keep up with you. It's the sideshow at this uh, side. <laughs> Somebody of Yeah, you're right. That's it. <laughs> we'll deal with it, though. There's a the point after kick again. And Rebracca knocks it down. They keep this up. His right leg's got to be three inches longer before they're all done. Let's take one more 30-second break, Dave. We're at 3.49 to play in the first half, and it now reads McDonald 40. Mineral Ridge, nothing. Here on the Sports Animal 1390. 3.49 to play in the first half. Here for Brackett's kickoff. Taken at the 8. The right hash. Could have been on the return. In traffic in the middle. Skips his way across the 30 and knocked down at 31. Your public address announcer Jack Evans in the background. And he goes with Koyman. So. Jack Evans has been around both. for a long time, man. What a great person he is. He does a great job. And I know that uh, Joe Piganelli, he uh, spells him every once in a while. They get a little break in between one another. And they do a nice job over here. Four plays, 48 yards, finished off. A one-yard touchdown run by Cameron Ift. And the big play was that 39-yard hookup fast connection from Carquito Portales to the one-yard line. That's your Toyota Bobo Jaguar of Warren scoring drive summary. Here are the Rams. They desperately need a scoring drive now. Trailing 40 to nothing, 341 to play in the first half. And Coach Whitaker calls a timeout as they set it up at their 31-yard line. You know, at this point, uh, you, thought, you know, you guys know you're on the other side and you're in this big hole like this, and it's just, let's keep doing what we've been trying to do, what we want to do this season. Let's keep with it. Let's play fundamental. Keep chopping wood and try and make positive things happen. That's it, Jim. I mean, I've been there. I've been there, you know, uh, I don't want to say numerous times because it has been numerous, but been there when it's when it's tough. You just got to refocus and regroup. I mean, come back to it, get to the basics. We always talk about it. Get the first get the positive yards, get the first down, get in the end zone, whatever you can do, turn the field. It's just, it, you know, it has to happen that way. you got to bring them back together. Yeah. 
you know, this is uh, unfamiliar territory with Coach Whitaker. It is. For the know. most part. He's, although, uh, before he decided to step away, you know, his teams were struggling some, but uh, normally not the case for him. For Jeff Whitaker. No, but he's the right guy for this job. He really is. Flip screen right side as White connects with Burgoyne, and he is swallowed up by a record as the ball arrives. Tackle at the 34, so it's a two-yard gain. Maybe three. We will give him three on the connection. Second down and seven. Trips to the right, a split to the left. White with a back to his left. Out of the gun. With the snap. From the 34. Under pressure, flush to his left. He has room. Across the 35. Flag flies, hits the 40, and goes down in front of the Mineral Ridge bench. Right around the 41. But a flag down. He may have enough for the first down. Dimery on the tackle. The flag on the other side of the field. Most yeah, definitely away from the play. From the play. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's way away from the play, and it's deep, too. It's 15 yards downfield. So I wonder if we have a personal foul. An eligible receiver. Wow. Hmm. I didn't see that. That's how it would be away from the play. Well, that's a tough one for the Rams. Again, just, just want to do something to move forward here before the half ends, and they had... If not a first down, very close to it. And now he'll be backed up again. And a tough down in distance. Well, not so much down, but distance, yeah. Now the officials want to go over and talk with Coach Whitaker and explain the situation on the scoreboard. The situation, 2.58 to play in the first half. 40 to nothing, McDonald's. Get back down to the sideline to Sean for another Armstrong update. Jim, a few minutes ago, Todd had mentioned that there's three teams in the lower tier of the ICCL that are currently sitting at 3-0. One, obviously, is going to push to 4-0, you know, as we kind of see right now. But chit-chatting with a few people down here, so much was made in the offseason about Western Reserve kind of being that unstoppable team in the lower tier. They got so much hype, you know, leading up to the season. And it, rightfully so. I mean, they're a very good football team. But it seemed like, you know... People were kind of expecting them to go untested. Needless to say, I think that motivated a lot of teams in the lower tier. You know, hey, let's knock them off. Let's bring it. And, you know, talking talking to people, kids doing a little bit of extra work in the weight room, trying to catch up to them and, and make a you know, difference in that lower tier. Thanks, Sean. Uh, good observation. Most Sean Sideline reports brought to you by Armstrong. One wire infinite possibilities, and they pick up the flag, and it'll be a first down for the Rams. From their 40, White looking to throw, scrambles to his right, fires on the right side, it's caught. And it's coming at the 30-yard line, and slides down around the 29. Nice job, good play, good arm strength. I mean, uh, you know, we talked about he's a pitcher on the baseball team and did a nice job sitting in the pocket there. Uh, Mac White did, and, you know, caught his uh, target in Coyman, and great job, nice first down. their fifth first down 235 to play first half 40 to nothing McDonald with the Rams on the move look at the defense nobody back deep no, which is on white to throw fires deep down the middle and a receiver nowhere in the area as the ball is completed the goal line Then a double post route Coleman was back there along with Record. Well, he's right. The more you look at these kids, how lean they are. Jeez. Yeah, and I'm not sure if that's Mike Zarbaugh in defensively. I think it is. Yeah, he's it back is. in the area as well. But did you see that there was no depth? No. On the defensive backs. That's what I'm saying. They weren't even seven yards off no. the ball. And, and I'll tell you what, they get, they cover the field. They the parallel nice line of scrimmage. Here we go. Look, they're, they're right there. Four yards off the ball. Second and ten from the 29. Blitz is on. White to throw. And just shuffles it off. Ferguson, and he takes it into the secondary inside the 20 and then knocked down around the 17. So the Rams, for the first time tonight, inside the 20 of the Blue Devils. Did Harbaugh on the tackle. 
found that soft spot in the zone. There was absolutely no one there in the middle of the field. I'd say it was a great play, and all it was was, what, a, a two, three-yard pass, but just enough to pick up that 10 yards. Almost a two-handed chest pass. Yeah. First down, though, after the gain of 11. Two minutes to play, first half. Here are the Rams, first and 10 from the 18. Out of the gun, white to throw. Time in the pocket, fires over the middle, and it's behind the receiver, incomplete at the goal line. And a flag down back upfield. Or at least there defensively. Billy Rule from in there with a little bit of a, look like a, not a late hit, but hit on the quarterback. Hold it, shoot. Holding Yeah, you just don't like to see that. You got things going, you're doing things positive. Well, this you is what happened the last pass, time. But yeah, the last time they got down in, around the 20, they they blew up with self-inflicted wounds. Man. Some mistakes, which ended up being wounds. Bot foul, and it takes it back to the 37-yard line. They've gotten to the 18. First and 28. Comes the blitz up the middle again. White to throw. Fastball up the middle and it's through the hands. Appointment inside the 25-yard line. It falls incomplete and almost a play for the defense. For the record, leaving his feet to try for the pick, but can't get to it. And it brings up second down and 28. Drop, what was it, uh, 63 Jake Lowry coverage that time. I mean, he's a defensive lineman, but, man, he gets around. Clock stops, 143. First half, 40 to nothing, McDonald. Here are the Rams, trips to the left. They have a wide to the right. That's Rowan in the ball game. White in the gun, back to his left. With the snap. Throws off his back foot down the right sideline, and a flag flies. Rowan, the intended receiver, just the guy in the area, he's basically throwing the ball away around the 23. I don't think that was a catchable ball. No, but I think it was a personal foul. No, they, they They're going to call pass interference. Pass interference against you know what? Blue That's Devils. right. That's right. We talked about it before. High school football, there's no such thing as a, a non-catchable ball. There should you know, be. Yeah, there should the be. pass is 10 feet over somebody's head. That's right. But in, in, in college and uh, pro, there definitely there's an uncatchable ball. But in high school, there is not, not that rule. Well, the Rams get one back here. And it is, that's exactly what Coach Williams is talking to the officials about right now. Yeah. Nobody had a chance to make a play on that one. Coach Walton said, you're making a good point. <laughs> you're making a good point, but we're just going to stick with our call. It's not an automatic first down, though. It's second down and 13. As they spot it at the 22. 138 to play in the first half. Mac White working out of the gun. Having a little success now. With it back to his left. The man. Snap. Nothing there to his left. Going to run it to his right. Throws in the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Oh, that was right in between everybody. <laughs> Heavy traffic. Coyman <laughs> makes the catch. About seven yards deep. And Mineral Rich finally on the board. And that's the fourth touchdown pass on the season for White. From 22 yards out. Nice job. Nice job getting the end zone doing exactly what we talked about, man. Getting it downfield, moving a nice little drive, and putting it in the end zone. Nice job. They stayed with it. Cross for the extra point kick. White to hold. Snap, spot kick on the way. Soccer from the right. And he drills it down the middle. Good. We're going to keep it here. We're at 131 to play in the first half. And it now reads McDonald 40, middle ridge 7. And we'll do the drive here. There's there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plays. 69 yards. And it finishes with a 22-yard touchdown pass from White to Poyman. And they had the extra point kick. And that's another Toyota Volvo Jaguar of Warren scoring drive summer. See a great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles at Toyota Volvo Jaguar of Warren. 
Rob 422. Jimmy, one of our sponsors is out for a run. Nick Gallo from Steel and Alloy said to tell you hello, give you his best regards. I haven't seen him in a while. He's, he's on a run and said uh, he's listening to us on his uh, iPod and uh, just want to make sure he said hello. Great. So hats off. Thanks a lot, Nicky, for listening. We Absolutely. do appreciate it, buddy. Hi back, Nick. These Blue Devils look pretty good here. Today. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. I, it, it is. It's, it's set up so, another, such an interesting... Another name synonymous with... Uh, with McDonald, McDonald great, absolutely great football. You know what? And, and a get well soon to his father too. Nat's uh, having a tough time right now. Uh, I believe he had some medical issues the last couple of weeks. So, you know, hopefully everything's going well and get well. Uh, Mr. Gallo. Cross gets set to kick off. Record back deep, and it's a ground ball down the middle, and it bounces off. One of the F-backs, and there's a pileup at the 37. And it will be middle red ball. Rams recover. Hey, Ridge didn't want this thing to be a runaway. They like the clock uh, slowing down and stopping in the second half. Well, it might have been Alex Coyman who made the recovery. They got out quickly. Everybody, three or four guys yeah. ran to the bench. Shot everywhere. But it's Rams ball from the 37. By far their best starting position on offense here tonight. They don't have enough guys until somebody finally comes off the bench. White out of the gun. Heavy pressure up the middle. It's a chop block, and they may have a flag on that one. And White is sacked back at the 46. You're allowed to, is that going to be a low block? Yeah, it's going to be a low block. You're allowed to do it in line of scrimmage. It's the initial block. You can go low, but you can't take a block uh, and take someone out at their feet when they're coming on that a was blitz. Several yards yeah. off the line of scrimmage. Of course, now they're going to call holding. Holding. Wow. And I, he went right down to his feet there, and it was definitely off the, off the line of scrimmage. Unless the defender left his feet. 40 to 7, McDonald. And Mineral Ridge executing the onside kick and the recovery. And they set up shop at the 37, but they get a hold on first down. So now they're looking at the 44 in their own territory. Man, they've had a lot of first and second Absolutely, longs here. Man. First and 28. First and highway. Trips to the right. Split to the left. White to throw. Fires right side, caught on the hitch, up near the 49, Quayman on the grab, immediately tackled by If. And it's a gain of five. Look at the 49-yard line, ball on the right hash. out of timeouts. Clock rolls. 50 seconds to play here in the first half. On second down and 22. White to throw. Under pressure. And he's wrapped up. Sack plus tax. Back to the 39-yard line. Big Albert. Along with Matthew Howard. White, no chance there. Pocket just collapsed. Great coverage downfield again by the Blue Devils secondary. And the clock continues to roll. After the nine-yard loss, back to the 40. Now they look at a third and 32. What play do you call here, Coach? Um, Ten seconds. The one that picks you up first, first half. down. Ten seconds. White with a snap out of the gun. In the pocket. Sets. Fires deep down the middle. And not an offensive player in the area as it sails for his arm bar's head and a flag flies. Flag flies in for, God, who knows. Mike Darba in the secondary, the closest guy to the, the ball that fell complete inside the 30. They're going to mark it off on a defense, and the, the half cannot end on a defensive penalty as the clock has wound down here in the first half. But again, they mark it from the line of scrimmage. It's not, right, not on where the down. foul occurs. We'll have one more play, barring another defensive penalty. 
here in the first half. Longer first half. That's I right, see. boy. I'll tell you what. I'm working an hour and a half in here, man. Ready pizza left? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there might be some over there. I don't know. I should ask Norma Piganelli if she's got some over now there. Now it's third and 17 from the 45 yard line of McDonald. And they'll run the draw to Ferguson. Up the middle comes wide to the left to the numbers and then dragged down at the 38. Another horse collar. And they will have another defensive penalty call. So the half will not. Happen. Yep. Man, I'll tell you, that Connolly on the tackle, or was that, yeah, that's Connolly. It was Connolly. And he gets up limping. That's the second horse collar we've uh, had tonight. Yeah, we have one of those in probably a year. Uh -huh. Back to back defensive penalties here as time has expired in the first half on the Blue Devils. He'll lead it 40 to 7. <laughs> Move it down to what, the 13? Looks like actually the 23 and... 23, pardon me. Yeah, that brings up a timeout. 23 yards. Timeout by McDonald. Well, they you got everybody in right, place man. here and know what they're doing. Needless to say. Jimmy, I'm not going to lie. When you looked away, I stuck a piece of that piece, buddy. I see there's only... Good stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> Some good stuff. I, I see. Don't be looking away. <laughs> well, if, if I were able to avoid doing that, I would do so. But that's right. Uh, that's you, know, you have to multitask these days here. So now you were multitasking. I was much. So Dan Williams talking to his defense, making sure the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed, and whatever else they have to do. credit to Middle Ridge. You know, down 40 to nothing. They're still coming with it. Yeah, they are. They, sh they should be. You know, they're tough kids over there, and they're going to definitely uh, bring it as hard as they can all the time. From the 23 of the Blue Devils. Into the half. Trips to the right. Short split to the left. Wide in the gun with a snap. Back at the 32. Time in the pocket. Fires in the end zone in a double coverage, and it's incomplete out of the end zone, and that will do it for the first half. And not enough fighting in the end zone to see who the intended receiver was. <laughs> as soon as Sean is able, he'll have a word from Dan Williams. Coach, guys were able to put 40 points on the board, got rolling early. Talk about some of the things you liked, didn't like in the first half. Well, our kids are playing hard. We're blocking well up front. Ben's throwing the ball well, and our backs are running hard. Defensively, we, we you know, lost a little bit there at the end, gave him a score, you know, and uh, gave him a little confidence, and then we end up getting uh, the turnover on the onside kick as well. So they got a little bit of confidence late, but our kids are going to come back hard and play in the second half. You know, it's pretty rare in high school football that you see a team that's consistently able to stretch the field like you guys were able to do in the first half. Being able to throw the ball deep down the field, talk about how that opens up things for you play calling-wise. Yeah, you know, early on we knew they were going to come in and try to probably stop the run, so we tried a couple early on and we went deep on them and got a couple big ones on them early. So, yeah, definitely when you stretch the field, you're going to open up your run game, and that's what we were able to do there early in the first half. You know, going into the locker room with a 33-point with a lead, what do you tell your kids and how do you keep them going? Well, we got to go in there and tell them it's not over yet. We've got to come out and play a good series this second half, you know, and come out with our starters and, you know, establish the control of the game again, and that's what we're going to try to do here in the second half. All right, Coach, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. Thank you. Armstrong Local Programming features our community like no one else. Meet your friends and neighbors at special events. Find the perfect pet. Celebrate our region's rich history or enjoy our natural wonders. Armstrong Local Programming is available online, on demand, and on your local Armstrong channel. Find the complete program schedule at armstrongonewire.com. Local programming, exclusively from Armstrong. One wire, infinite possibilities. Bigger smiles, louder cheers, longer talks. Enjoy the possibilities more than ever with Armstrong. Armstrong delivers the latest in television. On-demand, multi-room PVR, high definition. Zoom Internet has the speed and reliability you need for all your devices. And it's all backed by local award-winning customer service to keep you connected. Enjoy the possibilities with Armstrong. 
as we begin the third quarter here, one of the new rules implemented this year in the state of Ohio. High school football games will be in effect. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. As Blue Devils get set to kick off. The bracket soccer from the right gets the whistle and the approach. And the third quarter is underway. And it's taken at the 15. And back to those Burgoyne as he's knocked down at the 25-yard line. So the Rams had some momentum at the end of the first half. Let's see if they can continue that here as they get the ball first of the third quarter. And again, trailing by 33, the rule is in effect, right, Todd? Yes, it is. And here's how the rule goes. Ladies and gentlemen, this game will be now be played underneath a running clock for the new OHSAA point differential rule. The clock will stay stopped until uh, the clock will stop and stop after changes of possession at the end of the periods and for timeouts. At that point, at any time that it should drop below 30 points, it will go back to regular rules. So it will be a continuous clock. First down for the Rams at their 25. And White on first down throws over the middle, and it's caught. And the game goes up to the 39, and that's a first down, but a flag is down again. Flag down. And we saw our share of those at the end of the first half. And I believe that's Cross that made the catch, and he was. He was drilled. Record was there on the tackle. And he got help from Porterlies. They're bringing it back. They will bring it back. So take that first down, that game off the book for the Rams. And the, the difference is right now we're at 10.33 on the clock. The clock's just moving, and there's a timeout. And they're just walking the ball around. Yeah, that's so. the way it goes now. Yep. This quarter brought to you in part by Beatrice Kopp and Harshman. Reputation, respect, results. The illegal procedure is the call against the Rams. And again, we saw this rule implemented in our season opener. Yes, we did. Back on August 28th down at Columbiana. The Clippers going against West Reserve. They had it against them, but I'll tell you what, they've turned it around and are doing a real nice job. Coach Spade, man, always, always does a nice job down yes, there. And they've turned it right back around. All right, here are the Rams. First and 15 now from their 20. The deuce split wide to each side. White out of the gun, throws batted down at the line of scrimmage, incomplete, as it falls down to the turf of the 25. And again, great D-line play. You get that push first, and if you can't get their hands up. That's it, man. We've talked about that many times over the years. That's exactly it. Push, push, push as hard as you can. You get beat, get your hands up, jump up, whatever you can do. Get them hand knocking down. Make sure you're in a passing lane. Turning in the background, see if they go with their diesel formation, but it doesn't look like it. And I doubt we'll see uh, much other than this by the Rams here in the second half. Second down and 15 from their 20. White of the gun. Inside handoff on the delay, and that's Ferguson on the carry slanting from right to left to the 21. Knocked down there. If on the tackle, Cameron If doing a great job on both sides of the ball. 6'4 senior for the Blue Devils with the 40 to 7 lead and a running clock now here in the third quarter. 8.50 to play third frame. Rams out of the huddle. You got two wides to each side. And back to the right of White. Mack with the snap. Sets in the pocket. Flush to his right. Flag flies. Probably have a hole. White still with it at the 20. Shakes the defender. Has the 25. Right sideline and then spun down hard to the turf. Right around the 30. We old Jake Billick getting out there. The mop up record in the area as well, but we're going to have a hole. That's, that's not the kind of mop you want in here, that's for sure. Mop and drop. Man, I'll tell you what, you got plowed. Let's take a 30 second timeout. 40 to 7. McDonald over Mineral Ridge here on the Sports Animal 1390. Do our best to get breaks in here in the running clock in the second half. And Middle Ridge punting. What, what did we have penalty with? We have another flag down again, but we had a, a, a personal foul and then a hold. A hold and then a personal foul, I think. And they had a fourth and eight, and White punted, but a flag down on the field. Then we just had a, what was it, motion call. So and now they stop the clock. And they have to stop the clock at the change of at possession. change of possession. There you are. So we'll see 
We did see some substituting yeah. defensively for McDonald. Yeah, we have a timeout. Coach Whitaker just called a timeout. So let's take the opportunity to take another 30-second break. 40-7, to 7, McDonald with a lead on Mineral Ridge. We got a Sports Animal 13 night. <laughs> here now in the second half with the Blue Devils leading by 33, 40 to 7. The new rule, the 30-point rule. A lot of people are saying they're okay with it, Todd, but they like to see maybe 35 or 40. Well, that's that's the thing. They, and and, and uh, who was it early in the year? One of the coaches said, you know, a four a four score, you know, kind of situation. Well, you, if you have 35 points, you're seven, you're yeah. five touchdowns. Five touchdowns. And that's, so, boy, that's, that's hard to overcome yes. anyway. From the 47, here are the Blue Devils. Record off the right edge. Has room, taking it wide. As the 35 of the Rams grabbed and whipped out of bounds. And another flag will fly on a late hit, I believe, all the way down around the 27-yard line. Yep, that's it, man. And they, uh, they just kind of whipped them out of bounds, and the flag came out immediately. So the gain went to the 27. Six yard gain for Jake Record in 122 yards in the first half. You do the math, and a person to foul assessed after the play on the Rams. That's a lot. I'm not doing the math. So they'll move it <laughs> to the 13 yard line. By the 13, first and 10, the wall. To each side, if in motion. And they hand it off to Dimery, A gap left side, and he hits the 10 yard line and push back from there. Three yard pickup, right side of the Rams defense, doing the work on that one. Dimery with a 20 yard touchdown run in the first half. Clock rolling. 5 30 to play, third quarter. 40 to 7, McDonald. On the march again with the lead. On the now they have it second down and seven from the 10-yard line. Power eye in the backfield, strong right now. They'll shift out of that as if goes in motion. And they hand it off the record left side, and he threads Let's his way just inside the five-yard line and dump there. Zane Rome will get the hand underneath there. They'll mark it down at the five, it looks like. Where's knee touchdown? Down. Up by and that again is Zane Rummel, junior defensive lineman. Five more for record. 6'3, 250, man. Nice looking he's, kid. He's on the way to setting some records, maybe. Yeah, you're right. He does. He looks good. Third and two. Hipped in motion. And he gets the handoff, takes it off the right edge, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Cameron Hip. His second score of the game. And Blue Devils extend their lead. See some new bodies loosening up over here for McDonald's. Yeah, we will see some new numbers in the game. Got to get your twos and threes. You got to get them in quick, too. And good. point after kick by Dave Rebecca is good. To take a 60-second timeout, Dave. We're at 428 to play in the third quarter. And it now reads McDonald 47 and a rich 7. <laughs> Blue Devils Stadium and McDonald 47 to 7. Blue Devils with the lead and a running clock here in the second half with a 40 point advantage and the kickoff on the return for the Rams comes out to the 22 yard line. And it's time for another scoring drive summary brought to you by Toyota Volvo Jaguar of Warren. Five plays, 53 yards. Had a big penalty in there after a big run by record personal foul penalty. And they finished it off five yards out with Ift on the run. Had the point, 47 to seven. McDonald, here are the Rams, first down from their 23. White out of the gun with the snap, fires right flat on the curl, tip it outside after the catch, and the game goes out to around the 27. 
And that is Burgoyne on the catch. And again, we have some new defensive players in the game now for McDonald. And hopefully we'll be able to keep up with some numbers here. Matter of keep up with numbers and names, which has been a challenge at times in the first uh, half. Challenge for the numbers, <laughs> let alone anything else. Joey, is that... Uh, yeah, Joey Selly in the Joey game Joey Selly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Father Joe's in coach here for the Devils. On the play after the three-yard gain, White to throw. Nowhere to go. Now he's going to run. He slides down in the secondary up to around the 32, just short of the first down. Joey making another tackle there. Or gets the credit for the tackle there. After the slide, once you slide, you're down. Clock rolls, 2.30 to play, third quarter. And again, the mercy rule is in effect. We'll be getting down to Sean here in just a moment for another Armstrong update. Rams looking at a third and one from the 31, moving from left to right towards the scoreboard. White with the snap. Inside hand off to Ferguson, off left tackle. He's got the first down. He chucks it to the 35-yard line and dumped there. And again, a lot of new guys in defensively yeah. now for Mikey, Mikey Zarbo in there on the tackle. And he got uh, a lot of playing time in that first half. Hunter. Uh, 51 in there, right around there. Uh, Hunter Kutch. Yep. I'll let you do some spotting here now. We'll give it a shot. We'll yep. See what we can do, man. I mean, unfortunately, you'll hear me say some numbers. And Jimmy will play. Nine on the game. <laughs> First down from the 35. White to throw in the pocket. Has time. Fires deep down the right side. Way overthrown. Incomplete to the 30. Appointment the attended receiver. And I believe that was Zarbaugh with him. Yes, it was. Step for step yes, in coverage. Clock continues to run. The zoom down to the sideline to Sean for another Armstrong update, Sean. Jim, as difficult as it is to be on the Mineral Ridge sideline right now, it's a tremendous opportunity for this coaching staff to build up their program. When you're in a situation like this, you've got a lot, lot of young guys on the sideline who you can get in and get varsity experience and start building towards the future. You're not kidding. Thanks, Coach. You know about that. And that's another Armstrong sideline report. Armstrong on demand. Armstrong zoom. One wire, infinite possibilities. Second and ten, white to throw. He's going to fire deep down the left side, and Got this him. one's caught down at the 30-yard line, and the game goes down all the way to the 22. And then we'll have to wait to get a on the number that's Rose on the catch. Rose on the catch and Colin O'Rourke, number 27. Travis Rose making the grab. And the game goes all the way to the 22-yard line. 43 yards. White fakes the inside handoff and he keeps it on the ground off left tackle and he pushes it inside the 15 to around the 14 for an eight-yard game. The last play of the third quarter. That's the end of the third quarter. The and again, continuous clock here. The mercy roll in effect from McDonald. And I'll remind you again, you could win a gift card worth a hundred bucks by entering the 50-50 drawing at all of our broadcast locations this year. And tonight's winner is Todd. It is Lou Mushi from uh, McDonald's right here on Master. All right, way to go, Lou. Congratulations. $100 gift card brought to you by Sheets Convenience Stores. Proud to sponsor local sports in your community. Don't forget our O'Charlie's Player of the Game coming up in our A&M Total Restoration post-game show. That's just ahead, as is the fourth quarter from McDonald with our score. McDonald 47, Mineral Ridge 7 here on the Sports Animal 1390 WNIL. Armstrong Local Programming features our community like no one else. Meet your friends and neighbors at special events. Find the perfect pet. Celebrate our region's rich history or enjoy our natural wonders. Armstrong Local Programming is available online, on demand, and on your local Armstrong channel. Find the complete program schedule at armstrongonewire.com. Local Programming. Exclusively from Armstrong. One wire, infinite possibilities. Back at McDonald. And while we're away, White connects with Coyman from 
Just over 13 yards out for a touchdown connection at the back of the end zone. Here's the extra point kick, and it's blocked. No good. As we get the fourth quarter going, and Mineral Ridge with its second touchdown. And again, the clock stops now with the mercy rule. The chains of possession coming up. And the Rams go one, two, three, four, five, six plays. 77 yards. Impressive drive. And again, it's White to Coyman, their second touchdown connection of the game. And don't forget, too, when, you know, four more points, uh, Ridge scores, and that game, the, the mercy roll clicks back off. The clock turns back to a normal clock. So it will be interesting to see what Coach happens. Williams puts uh, his ones back out there on offense, going with a lot of uh, uh, the second-line guys defensively in that drive. Well, this is where you look for, for gadget plays, too. You know, uh, Middle Ridge, they could be going for an onside kick here just to try and get the ball back, try and score again, and get some more playing time for other people. Again, our third quarter was brought to you far by Beatrice Kopp and Harshman. Reputation, respect, results. And, of course, Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print has new Adidas apparel in stock and a lot more. Check it out, 16 West Liberty Street, Gerard, or call 545-8108. Jim Evans, Todd Thorne. And Sean McHugh, don't forget, you'll be able to see a replay of this game starting next Wednesday at 2 p.m. and then other times after that on Armstrong 20 and 100. Good job, Greg. Always, always out there doing helping out. Doing the, doing the work, man. The blue-collar work. Absolutely, man. Does a good job, man. He scrambled to get things going tonight, too, man. Yeah, did a heck of a job. And, of course, don't forget to check out Loose Change. Also seen on Armstrong. Uh, my guest uh, this edition, Rich Morgan. Rich Morgan. Rich Morgan. Everyone calls him the weather guy. Call him the runner dude. Yeah, he's both. He puts miles in, man. And he does, too. He's still doing it. Yes, he is. Good dude. 47-13. Here's Mineral Ridge with the kick. Cross. Way. Picked up at the 16. Zarbar coming back the other way. Up the middle. Has some room. Flags flies. He takes it across the 40 to the 46-yard line. Maybe up to the 48. Now, let's see if there's a hole. I think he got a hold or a face mask or something. Look like he came right at the, the tackle spot. Are you able to see pretty good through your window? Yeah, a little bit. Personal I'm foul, face mask. Time. You're right. I'd fix that for you, but you got all kinds no, of issues we're, we're over there. That's that point. As the clock rolls, 10.50 to play in the game. Again, continuous clock here in the second half with the new mercy rule in effect. See a video of the State Farm Insurance High School Football Team of the Week Award online at sportsanimal1390.com. Brought to you by participating local State Farm Insurance agents like Jason Recker, Canfield. Buddy Jason sitting here at the game radio tonight. going yeah, on. Give us a wave us. down there, Jason. That a boy. <laughs> Not a reason to uh, enjoy tonight's game. All right, here are the Blue Devils. They will have new people in offensively from the 38-yard line. They're going to run off left tackle, and it'll be a positive game. And I think that's our bump for the 30. Good things out there that Jason Record does for the community, man. He always is always out there to help, and just a, just a good guy. Eight on the pickup for his bump. Tate Rummel, along with Cologne on the tackle for the Rams. And we're rolling at 9.40 to play in the game. Hey, Jason, make sure you say something down there to Jack so he knows that we got him listening, too. Joey Selly, a quarterback, under center, split backs. And they run off the right edge. And flags fly again. Let's see, who is that on the carry? Again, a lot of new guys in the game now. Joe Perry, I believe. Yep. And check out the infraction. Here, here it comes. Personal foul against the Ridge. Twelfth first down unofficially for McDonald. Blue Devils with a near-perfect uh, effort here tonight. Not 
not far from it. Pretty much able to do what they wanted to do both sides of the ball. Definitely, and I'll tell you what, the other thing is they got a good group of guys standing down there healthy waiting for next week to move on to the next game. I know there's frustrations going on probably on that last play, but give credit to Middle Ridge. Still playing hard. For Coach Whitaker. Absolutely. First down now from the 13 after the personal foul. Counter. Try and run off left tackle, and that will go nowhere. And that's Cody Hawthorne on the carry, and he was hit a yard deep in the backfield, had no chance to advance, and it's dropped back to the 16. 5-4-105. A little bit of, well, a little bit of football player in him. <laughs> he loses nice. three. Seven thirty to play in the game. Second and thirteen from the sixteen. And they'll run off right tackle. And I believe that's Zarbaugh. That was Zarbaugh. Skips inside yep. the 10 to the 9 and dumped there. Put it on the tackle. And he got out from Ferguson. And also in the game right now, Antonio Tedesco. There we go. Defensively for the Rams. And the gain to the 9. Pick up a 7 for Zarbaugh. And it brings up third down and six from the nine of the Rams. 6.50 to play in the game, 47 to 13. It has been all McDonald here tonight. Brandon Dean checking into the game. Wing to the right, split to the left, split backs. Whistles blow. Delay we have delay, we might have that. Yep. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Steel and Alloy Specialists. Lane Funeral Homes, the area agency on aging, Quaker Steak and Lube, Pharmacy Care, Lafarge Construction Materials, and Pizza Hut. Hut, 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 hut. There you go. Oh, I've been waiting for it, buddy. Thank you. He's right there. Much, I teed man. it up for you. Oh, I love you. I love you. 30 <laughs> 11 now from the 14. And they'll try and run off right tackle. That's Perry on the carry and he spins off a defender and hits the 11 then is hit down there. That, that flow is pretty good. Perry on Absolutely. the carry. Perry on the carry. Yeah, you like that. I like it. I like it. Oh, it didn't even know. You're a good dude. Left side of the Rams defense. 82 Jokic. Sudo jumping into the game Got now. some new guys uh, on defense for the Rams. 30 to play in the game. But here are the Blue Devils, fourth and eight from the 11. Dylan Keeley. The show motion. They run the counter. Left to right. And Perry, and he takes it maybe just inside the nine, and that is it. Brought down, and the Rams get it back. Nathan Hevner on the down. So a nice new body. defensive stop. Or did he get the first? Well, First time going the other way. No ridge ball. Yeah, At least that's what Shane say. Well, <laughs> Middle Ridge still with the defense on the field. Yeah, that's that's what I'm not getting. Yeah. Well, at least let's take a 30 second timeout. Five minutes to play in the game. It's 47 to 13. McDonald over Middle Ridge. Here on the Sports Animal 13 night. McDonald, as we're rolling this thing out, and again, Middle Ridge, while we're away, or just before we broke, uh, with a defensive hold, and the offense finally made its way on the field, and they've run a couple of plays here while we're in break with no success, running off the left and then the right. As they set it up at the 10-yard line, now they're looking at third and 10 from the 10. Jim Evans, Todd Thorne, and Sean McCune. We're going to be getting it on to uh, Sean for another Armstrong update, and maybe some Score updates as well. But here are the Rams. Their second team offense on the field. Third and ten from their ten. And now at quarterback with absolutely no chance is 
Jacosto Baptiste, he's a freshman. And he's tackled back at the one-yard line. Let's bounce back down to the sideline to Sean. Jim, I do have a final score and some late fourth quarter scores. Struthers beat Niles 27-0. That's a final score. Ursland up 39-14 over Mentor Lake Catholic late in the fourth quarter. Poland up 20-16 over Columbus Bishop Waterson late in the fourth quarter. And Fitch up 21-14 over Dover. That game also late in the fourth quarter. Thanks, Sean. And again, all of Sean's sideline reports brought to you by Armstrong. One wire, infinite possibilities. And again, you'll be able to catch this game, a replay of the game on Armstrong 20 and 100 starting next Wednesday at 2 o'clock and then other times after. Many times after. Yep. We have a timeout called. And we'll keep it here. Take care of a little more business at our end. And I remind you, the A&M Total Restoration post-game show is coming up. The Valley's number one restoration company called 330-507-6220. And, of course, that will include our O'Charlie's player of the game, made possible by O'Charlie's restaurants in Boardman and Niles. Please email your pictures to Mr. Lori Smith, Senior Class Advisor. For the email addresses on the school website. Well, it sure was a great night here tonight in McDonald's for Blue Devils fans. Beautiful. The big rivalry didn't quite play out uh, as it does at times on the field, but nonetheless, a uh, big turnout on both sides. And, you know, the Rams program yep. just, you know, finding its way, getting back on track and through that coach, uh, Jeff Whitaker, and they will do that. They, they will. There's no Give doubt about it, man. They, they just got a good bunch of guys. He, Coach Papa, the rest of the crew over there, they do a real nice job, and they will definitely rebuild that program. There's no doubt about it. Here's Rams to punt, and it's blocked. And there'll be a safety call. We'll add two more. As the punt was blocked and then picked up, covered by a Rams player in the end zone. So the Blue Devils, as if they need to get the deuce, <laughs> lead now 49 to 13. Let's take another 30 second break, Dave. 30 seconds. 2:11 to play in the game. It's McDonald 49, Middle Ridge 13 here on the Baird Brothers Game of the Week on the Sports Animal 1390. McDonald playing this one out after the safety. Now here's Mineral Ridge kicking off from the 20, 49 to 13. Blue Devils with the lead. And again, the mercy rule in effect. I'll tell you what, they bear the mercy rule on that pizza. The, as good <laughs> yeah, as that was. It didn't have a chance no when, when, they, when they brought it over here. We showed it no mercy. mercy. Great stuff. Here's the kick. Great kick by Cross. And it's taken at the 27. Here's Zarbo. Coming up the right hash, cross 35-40, and then hit down at the 45-yard line of the Blue Devils as we roll at 135 to play in the game. Yeah, Norma, Joe Piccinelli, they do a nice job, man. They brought the kid pizza up here, and you know what? Always great I'm hospitality give, here. I'm going to give Joe a little credit. He brought up suckers. So she brought the pizza that made, and she brought up some suckers. And you know what? Uh, know. We, unfortunately, we're... Um, restrained by what we're able to do in terms of free time. The, the great Andy Goyebeck oh, man. Coach. here tonight in the press box. And Legend. We had hoped to maybe get a chance to speak to him at halftime, but not able to do so. But it's great to see Andy. He looked uh, great, and uh, hopefully everything's going well for him. Great coach here previously. As the Blue Devils back on offense take a knee, their victory formation at the 45-yard line, and they'll get out of here and remain perfect on the season. I'm really impressed with the way they look here tonight. Uh, Absolutely. Man. I really, and, and again, athletes, we man. will see them a uh, couple weeks over at West Reserve. Man, we're looking forward to that. Circle it. Another circle game. We've got three old print. so far. In nice. Big old full print. We'll take another knee. Take this one out of here. Uh, fans on their feet. And for good reason. There, guys. With a great effort here tonight. Don't forget the butcher block. Battle trophy is the clock winds down. Teams out of the field to shake hands. And that will do it. Our final score, McDonald 49. Middle Ridge 13 here on the Baird Brothers Game of the Week on the Sports Animal 1390 WNIL.